What is Differential Integrity Constraint? Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and today we are going to know that what is Differential Integrity Constraint and how is it used. So, Differential Integrity is a set of constraint applied to the foreign key which prevents entering a row in a child table where you have foreign key for which you don't have any corresponding row in parent table. Referential integrity prevents your table from incorrect or having incomplete relationship. Such as there is an example of referential integrity that there is a create table command and create table name depth and there is depth id that is int and the constraint is not null. The depth name field has uh, the data type var care and it is primary key and engine is equals to i double n o d b that is the engine which you have mentioned so if we execute this query so firstly i'm going to execute this query in my mysql command line The query is executed and it's okay that means there is no issue in the execution of query and zero rows affected because right now we don't have any inputs to the table next there is an another table name emp employee table that is having id constraints not null name the depth id is the foreign key for this and it is referencing the depth of the first table so I'm going to execute this query also and create a table naming employee. So it's also query is okay and zero rows affected because right now we don't have any entries to the table either depth or employee. So now we are going to insert the entries to the table. So firstly what we are inserting is we are inserting the values to depth department table with respective IDs and the name of department that is CSC, EE, ECE, ME for mechanical engineering and IT for information technology. So we are going to use insert query. So I am going to insert the values in the depth table now. So insert is okay. Similarly I am going to insert the rest of the values. This is my second entry. The third entry for ID 103 and the department ECE. This is also query OK, which means there is no syntax error. The next is also for department mechanical engineering ME and the ID is 104 query ok and the last entry for table department DEPT is IT department and the ID is 105 so ok all the queries are being inserted in the table what next I have to do is I have to check whether the inserted values reflect back in the table or not so I will run the select command select asterisk form in which table I have inserted depth so I will write here depth yes all the values have been inserted it is now visible to me next I have to insert the values in the employee table and the values are employee id the department ID in which which department he or she is working and then I have to insert the name of that employee that what is the name of employee working in that department. So all the queries have been inserted and now I will run the select command for this table also and the table name is employee. I will change the table name and yes all the values have been inserted into the table. Now I have to run a delete command. I have to delete from depth and I have to select from employee then I will get an empty set. 
because we have set the referential integrity constant with the help of foreign key that's why if i delete the values from depth then automatically employee table gets empty so let's run the delete command and check it So we can see that if we delete from department table, then the employee table also gets empty set. Now what are the advantages of referential integrity? It prevents the entry of duplicate data, that means no duplicate data can be entered. Prevents one table from pointing to a non-existing field in another table. You cannot point a non-existing field of the other table. It also guarantees consistency between part parent table means in the parented table it also guarantee you the consistency prevents the deletion of record that contains a value referred to by a foreign key of the other table you cannot delete a record that contains a value referred by a foreign key of another table you can see that we cannot delete here because it is having foreign key constraint of other table as i have mentioned here why we can't delete because it is having foreign key of other table that's why we cannot delete the data of that table and prevents the addition of a record of table that contains foreign key value unless there is a primary key linked with the table so that's all about referential integrity next we will learn in the upcoming videos thank you